Over its 28 year history, Lunar's been involved in a lot of prominent projects and we're extremely proud of that work. But for Jeff and me, the design of Lunar itself is our greatest achievement. Since I was a kid, I always liked to build things and wanted to be an architect since I was eight years old. My first architecture professor at USC was Bob Inlow. He was actually an industrial designer. He exposed us to the concept of mass production. I was really fascinated by that and decided to go back to school and study industrial design. Never regretted it. I remember when Gerard showed me some of his first product designs. I was just stunned at, at how beautiful they were. So sculptural, clever, a direction that nobody else in the class went into. Gerard, in my mind, was so inspirational at a time when, for me, I was just worried about how to graduate. And Gerard was relaxed and had a sense of humor. He kind of got everybody to relax, have a good time, enjoy the moment. And uh, I really appreciate that. I think it was a good lesson to learn. There's some testing of the waters early in Gerard's early experience uh, at GVO and at Interform. But very quickly, I think he and Jeff Smith and Bob Bruner came to an understanding of what, what kind of a company they wanted to be. I think it is fair to say that there are three companies that really defined the landscape of design in the Bay Area, and they would be the company that is now known as IDEO, Frog Design, and Lunar, which was formed in 1984, at which time there was nothing that I would begin to call a regional design culture yet. So they were literally in on the ground floor and the founding generation of what became the major design industry worldwide. So their impact, uh, it's been uh, ex really quite extraordinary. We started in design where design was styling. Then engineering became integrated. That served us well from a business standpoint because the first two projects, the Droidworks and Zentel, were probably two-thirds engineering. So those were great projects to kick the place off with. And we wouldn't have been able to get that without the integrated uh, approach to what we were doing. I think it's Gerard's presence. It's to his credit that we do have such a strong engineering capability today because that was really where he excelled was in taking a design vision and figuring out how to engineer it, how to design the parts and how to get it manufactured. And that helped them land a highly technical projects with Droidworks, uh, the Velo handheld communicator for Philips, for Silicon Graphics, a workstation. Uh, and these are really category-defining products which are not about exterior styling. We also, along the way, of course, wanted to get into Apple. The first very important product was the LC computer, which was part of a family of computers that were very slim desktop computers. Apple got a lot of positive press in association with that. And it was soon after that, I believe, that Apple recruited our partner, Bob Bruner, to come be the director of design at Apple. Well, that turned out to be a great thing for Lunar because Bob became a fantastic client and then we went on and did many, many products for Apple over many, many years. One of the most noteworthy products that we did was the Apple PowerBook 100 laptop, which was the darling of the first laptops that Apple created. And that was a big win for Apple. I think our biggest impact was being one of the two or three key partners with Apple at the time that they began to really proliferate and leverage the use of design as a strategic capability of the company. A lot of our work is in medtech. There are a couple of, of big systems that we design that uh, are really the future of medicine. And one is the Intuitive Surgical Da Vinci System, which was technology developed by DARPA that was originally going to enable surgeons to be at a distance from the people that they were operating on. It employs minimally invasive surgical techniques that are driven by robots 